Everyone loves mac and cheese, but with this crock pot recipe, it really takes it to the next level. G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Who doesn't love mac and cheese? It is simple yet delicious. It's so cheesy, so creamy, so mac and cheesy. <laughs> but this one's a different spin, but it's just as delicious, if not better. So join me today as I make my version of a crock pot mac and cheese. So we're going to start by boiling our macaroni pasta. So into a boiling pot, we're going to add in two cups of macaroni pasta. And we're going to let this boil away for exactly five minutes. And once it's all boiled, after five minutes, take it out of the pot, drain the liquid, and we're just going to rinse off our pasta. Okay, so now that our pasta is cooked, all we have to do now is just throw all the ingredients into our crock pot or slow cooker. So into our slow cooker or crock pot, I'm going to place in a teaspoon of onion powder, about a teaspoon of your desired mustard. Now I'll let you choose which type that you wanna use. You can use a generic type or a flavor type. Then one can of condensed cream of chicken soup. You may be thinking that's a bit weird, but trust me, don't knock it until you try it. It's very, very good. Next, half a cup of sour cream. Then half a cup of mayonnaise. Then we're going to season it with some pepper. And just give that just a quick mix around just to combine all those lovely flavors. So basically, apart from the pasta, this is pretty much a one pot recipe. Then next I'm going to add in four cups of cheddar cheese. Now you can use any type of cheese that you like. That's what I love about macaroni and cheese. You can actually customize it to your own particular flavor of cheese. It is really that simple and that versatile. So once that's all mixed through, lastly, we just have to add our cooked and drained and don't forget rinsed macaroni pasta. And we're just going to stir that through just so everything is well combined. And that's it. That is just how simple that is. So we're going to let this cook away so all those lovely flavors can infuse. That's what I love about this slow cooker version. It just lets everything infuse and you really do get a lovely flavor out of this. So in your crock pot or again slow cooker, we're going to cook it on high for two hours or low for three hours. I do recommend doing it on low. It just gives it that extra time to infuse so many delicious flavors. Now I've had this slow cooking away for three hours and Oh, look at that. It looks and smells delicious. Now you can serve it up as is. It's perfectly fine and cheesy. Or you can have it with a side. It's completely up to you. I think most people usually just have it maybe with some garlic bread on the side. But it's best to have it served straight out of the crock pot. Because it's piping hot and all those lovely flavors have been fused perfectly. And just look at that. So this is a different spin on it with some different flavors, but trust me, they work and they are delicious. So no matter whether you have it with a side or by itself, either way, this crock pot mac and cheese is going to taste simply delish.